Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mrs. Bray Reads a Story. So today, uh, the story I'm going to be reading is going to be uh, three, well, there's three stories. We're going to do three videos on this book, and this is called The Brambly Hedge Treasury, and it is by Jill Barklam. Now, this is a very old book, a uh, fairly old story, and this copy was given to me um, by my grandparents for my eighth birthday. So, a long time ago now. Uh, both of my grandparents have since passed away, and um, that would be a nice thing for me to share this book with you, as I've always loved the stories in this one. Um, and The Brambley Hedge is a uh, series of stories that all come from England, actually. And uh, they're all based on a little family of mice that live in an area called the Brambley Hedge. And they have some pretty fun adventures and uh, some pretty cool stories. So the first story we're going to read is going to be kind of the introduction. So introducing you to all the characters of the Brambley Hedge. And then we are going to... Um, have another video looking at some of the, two of the adventures of some of the mice. Okay, so this is the introduction of the Brambley Hedge, and what's pretty fun there is you can see the little signature from my grandparents at the bottom. So if you can read that, it says, Leah, God bless you and keep you in his love, in his tender care. Um, our our love, Grandma and Grandpa Affairs, and April 29th, 1995. So they saw me a few days after my birthday. Okay, so the Brambley Hedge Treasury. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tricky to hold here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is because there's a lot of text and not as many pictures with this book is I will hold the book and then I will read it and then I'll hold up the pictures for you guys to have a look at afterwards. Okay, so dedicated to the children who read this book. Before you hear about the time that Primrose and Wilfred found a long lost key to a secret palace in the oak tree and what happened to Wilfred when he was taken up to the high hills, I want to tell you a little bit about the Brambley Hedge Mice, where and how they live. Okay, so there's a, there's a picture. Okay. Okay. First of all, let me introduce you to everyone. Lord Woodmouse is the head of Brambley Hedge. He presides over functions and celebrations and knows all about the history of the head, hedge. Lady Daisy Woodmouse is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Apple. She lives with her husband, Lord Woodmouse, and her daughter Primrose at Old Oak Palace. Primrose Woodmouse is an only child. Her best friend is Wilfred Toadflax, who lives at the end of the hedge. Mr. Apple is the warden of Store Stump. He is very knowledgeable about the traditions of Brambley Hedge and always knows what to do in an emergency. Mrs. Apple is a kind and hospitable mouse. She's an excellent cook and knows all of the hedgerow remedies that uh, should, a mouse should be taken when ill. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Toadflax live in the hornbeam tree with their four children. And then we have Catkin and Clover Toadflax are two of their four children. And Wilfred and Teasel Toadflax are two of their other children who are two naughty mice who love to play tricks on their sisters. And Flax and Lily Weaver live down by the stream in the Weaver's Cottage. And Mr. Krusty Bread is a cook at Old Oak Palace. And Poppy Eyebright manages the dairy. She's engaged to be married to Dusty Dogwood. And Dusty Dogwood makes all the flour for Brambley Hedge. And Old Mrs. Eyebright is Poppy's grandmother. And Basil helps Mr. Apple at the store stump and he's in charge of the wines and cordials. So here, We've got a really nice picture showing all of the mice of Brambley Hedge. Yeah. So right now they are sitting, they're in the hedge, and a Brambley Hedge um, is talking about brambles, and brambles are blackberry bushes, so you can see them here picking the blackberries. Okay. 
Brambly Hedge runs along the edge of the cor of a cornfield. Here is a hornbeam tree, four crabapple trees, and a large tree stump overgrown with moss and ivy. Some elderberry bushes, a splendid oak tree, and a clump of hawthorn. Brambles and honeysuckle, foxgloves, ferns, and wild roses grow alongside the tangle of leaves and stems. So Brambly Hedge is a very pretty looking place. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mice have their houses in the roots and trunks of trees. And if you look very hard next time you're out walking in the country, you might be lucky enough to catch a glimpse of a small window or through an open door, a steep flight of stairs. If you do, you'll know you have found Brambly Hedge. Don't tell anyone where it is, uh, will you? The mice are shy and would not want to be disturbed. Okay. So there's a little picture. You can see the little tiny door there in the in the stump. Okay. The mice have lived in Brambley Hedge for generations. There has always been a Lord Woodmouse at Old Oak Palace, and provisions in the community have always been kept in a store stump next to Crabapple Cottage. During spring and summer, the mice gather herbs, fruits, and berries from the hedge in the autumn, and they scour the fields and woods for mushrooms, seeds, and nuts. In the kitchen, mice busily prepare delicious jams, jellies, and preserves for the cold winter ahead and make soups and biscuits, cakes and cordials from the many feasts and celebrations that punctuate the year. The mice are lucky for they can find nearly everything they need in the hedge or fields beyond. The stream provides the power for the dairy and the flour mill, and once a year, a cargo of salt is brought up from the sea and safe, uh, safely stored in the stump. So then you can see some of the baskets of fruit up there that the mice gather and some provisions there at the bottom. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Apple live at Crabapple Cottage. They have a large kitchen and a sitting room, a cellar, a storeroom, a laundry, two bedrooms and a bathroom with hot running water. Their daughter Daisy is grown up now and is engaged to be married, but Mrs. Apple still has all her toys up in her attic room. At the end of the day, Mr. Apple gets back from the store stump. He likes to sit by this fire and enjoy a slice of Mrs. Apple's special chestnut cake. Okay, so there is a picture of the apple tree cottage. And I think it's a very pretty little place. You can see their cellar and the kitchen. They have a very nice big warm kitchen and Oh, it's a nice bedrooms upstairs. Okay. Lord Wood the Lord Woodmouse family live in Old Oak Palace. Lord Woodmouse spends a good deal of time in his study. He is writing a history of Brambley Hedge. Lady Woodmouse has to supervise the household as well as prepare um, all of the balls and festivities that take place in the Great Hall. She's an artist too. She is painting a record of the hedge throughout the seasons and Lord Woodmouse will use his pictures to illustrate his book. Okay. So you can see, oops, there's a really nice picture of the hall there. It's a really nice big building. Okay, so Old Oak Palace, very beautiful place. Primrose Woodmouse likes having Wilfred Toad Flax round to play. One of their favorite games is indoor skating. Lady Woodmouse gives them each a pair of thick woolen socks. They put them on, dip their paws in beeswax, and glide in unison over the floors until they gleam like conkers. Um, conkers are a very shiny nut that is common in England. Uh, Wilfred lives in the hornbeam tree at the end of the hedge. Mr. Toadflax, his father, is the happiest sitting at the front door watching the world go by leaving Mrs. Toadflax to keep all the children in order. Mm. Um, this is no easy task because Cat King Clover, Teasel, and Wilfred are all high-spirited. For his last birthday, Wilfred was given a catapult and a pea shooter. And now, and he takes Team Teasel take great delight leaning out of the nursery window to take aim at Mrs. Apple's washing hanging on the line next door. Mm. Naughty mice. Okay, so let's see, we should have a fun little picture there of the mice uh, doing their indoor skating around the, around the kitchen there. 
Okay. Mice love to celebrate. Weddings, birthdays, midsummer, midwinter, and the first day of spring, the last day of autumn, and a heavy fall of snow, and each has its own food and ritual. Okay, so you can see a big hall set up in the old oak palace all ready for a big celebration. Okay. When Poppy Eyebright marries Dusty Dogwood, she plans to have a wedding party on the stream and Wilfred's last birthday took in form of a surprise picnic organized by Mr. Apple. All of his presents were packed in a hamper and because Wilfred couldn't see them, he thought he had been forgotten. However, he did his best to be polite and say nothing in spite of the disappointment. You can imagine how pleased he felt when he was asked to list the lid of the wicker basket. Inside, all packed all around with presents, was an enormous cake with Happy Birthday Wilfred written on it with pink icing. Okay, so there's a fun picture of the weddings, the wedding there, and Wilfred's birthday hamper. Okay. Wilfred and Primrose have been friends since they were little, and they have had a lot of adventures together. One of the most exciting was the time they went exploring on Midwinter's Eve. Let me tell you about it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the intro. And our next video is going to be about the secret staircase, which is honestly one of my favorite stories. I've always loved this one. So... Well, we will see you again when we re are back to Mrs. Bray reads a story. See you all later, ladies and gentlemen.